Let's hit eight again. Oh my god! It's March already? Hold up, hang on a minute. February favorites time. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and that's a little bit much of an intro. Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw, it is March already. I can't believe it's already time for another favorites. I am just blown away by how fast February went by. So I mean, come on. Is it just me or did February just fly by? February went by way too fast for me. This year is already starting to fly by. I mean, I can't, I can't. It's just, it needs to slow down. Please, year slow down. It's getting closer to my birthday. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Um. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get into my February favorites. As you guys saw in my Sephora haul, I purchased the new Tartlet blush called Celebrate It. And this blush is so gorgeous. It gives just a pretty natural color to your cheeks. I am actually wearing it today, as you can see. It just, it's great for every single day use. And it stays on, I don't notice it fading and I'm in love with it. I have been wearing it every day since I purchased it, and the, what's funny is my mom is the one that told me to purchase this, and she's been obsessed with it as well. I would say go pick this up. It's perfect natural blush that will just look gorgeous on everyone, and yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go buy it right now, after this video. Okay, so for my next makeup item is my Z palette from Makeup Geek. I purchased this Z palette, as you can see, Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue is my favorite color of all time. It was in my wedding. Like, yeah, love Tiffany Blue. So I bought the Tiffany Blue Z palette a while ago, and I only bought six of her makeup shades. Um, I've been hearing a lot of YouTubers rave about these eyeshadows, but I always take everything with a grain of salt before I purchase it, because you know, we all have our own different opinions. So I only purchased six of these because I really wanted to see the formulation of them and how good they really are. And I cannot begin to express. These, oh shoot, I just put my finger in the, in the foil one. So like I was saying, these shadows are absolutely gorgeous. They are formulated so well. Honestly, you wouldn't think that these shadows up here are only $5.99 and these ones are only $10. I, I mean like, yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. I use, I use these top three shadows up here, which is Peach Smoothie, Cocoa Bear, and Creme Brulee, um, and the foil eyeshadow Houdini. I use those three to create the look that I had in my Sephora haul. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, just thumbs up this video or comment down below let me know. But yeah, I absolutely love these. I am loving Grandstand right here, and even, I think this one's called Flamethrower. And this, the foil eyeshadows are absolutely gorgeous. It's awesome because you don't have to use them wet. So I don't own um, MAC Fix Plus. So it's great that I can use these dry and they still look so pigmented and so gorgeous on the lid. And yeah, I am loving these. So I'm gonna purchase more as time goes on. I'm actually gonna give myself a little bit of a break from makeup for a little bit because as you guys saw, I purchased so much already and I already have so many looks I have planned. So yeah. I will definitely purchase more in the future, but right now, Madison's on a makeup break. So my last favorite makeup item for this month is the Kat Von D Shade Light Kit. I am absolutely loving this. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing it every single day. It looks perfect on my skin. The tones of the bronzers are absolutely perfect for my skin tone. Like I said, the Anastasia one just does not work for my skin tone. It looks way too muddy. I don't know if it's because I'm applying it wrong or what, but it's just not working for me. These ones are absolutely gorgeous. I don't I just I don't know why. I'm just like more in love with this one. So yeah, definitely my favorite, and it'll probably be my favorite for many more months to come. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And the packaging, like the packaging rocks. I would definitely recommend this palette. So Go pick it up. 
but for hair this month, I have two favorite um, hair products for this month. And that, of course, is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is talked about and so many people's favorites. I am absolutely in love with this stuff. Oh my goodness. So I wash my hair about every other day or so, and my hair gets very oily. Just like my skin. And so I've absolutely been loving this stuff. I tried many other dry shampoos, and they make my hair feel like it's got so much stuff in it. Like... No, it makes them feel gross. This dry shampoo makes my hair feel like it just got refreshed. It doesn't feel like I have a bunch of product in it. It just, it just works. And I also love, this is my favorite kind. It is the light and blonde one because it's perfect for my hair. Because you know, when you got roots like these, it kind of covers it up. So it's been working for that. <laughs> So I'm hoping to fly home soon so that way I can go see my hair stylist so he can fix these horrible roots. Yeah, I definitely recommend this dry shampoo. Um, it's very inexpensive. It's only $7.99. And yeah, you can get it at Ulta. You can get it at CVS. You can get it at so many different places. And it's really affordable. I love it. For my last favorite hair product for this month, it is the Big Sexy Hair. Low dry volumizing gel. It is absolutely amazing. Let me just say, I purchased this. <laughs> I was grocery shopping one day and I was just going down the hair products aisle and I was like, huh, let me look at these stuff. Oh, I've never really tried anything for big sexy hair. This looks interesting. I need some volume. This might work. So I purchased it. And I absolutely love it. It's in my hair every single time after I take a shower and then I go to blow dry it and it just gives me so much fuller and more volume and my hair is just, it's just amazing. I love the way this makes my hair feel. It's absolutely amazing. It just gives me so much more volume and you know, it just makes my hair feel pretty. So yeah, if you guys are having problems with your hair being too thin and you want more volume, I would definitely go give the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel a try. It's absolutely amazing. I believe it was only $15 at the grocery store. And the grocery store has a tendency to be overpriced for like these type of products. So I would go check it out at Target or check it out at um, Ulta maybe. And you could probably find it cheaper. So yeah, I would definitely go and give this a try. I love it. For my favorite book this month, I know I am kind of behind the times, all right? I don't read very much. Sorry. But for my favorite book is The Best of Me by Nicola Sparks. I am absolutely loving this. I so I went ahead and purchased this at the airport and because I knew I was going to have a very, 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 Two hours later. Very, very, very long flight. So I went ahead and purchased this so I could have something to read. And I am absolutely obsessed with it. I couldn't put it down. I have two random favorites this month. And one of them is my water bottle. I'm absolutely in love with my water bottle. I drink a ton of water. I try to always keep hydrated, especially because it's really good for your skin. And I love this water bottle. I got it at Neiman Marcus. It is the BKR, aka Beaker. I don't know. But I am absolutely in love with this water bottle because number one is Tiffany Blue, my favorite color. And number two, it is glass. I like to stick with glass bottles rather than plastic because plastic is known to be very bad for your body. And that's what a lot of studies have been showing. So I tend to stick with glass. And so what I do is if I have like water bottles, like plastic water bottles, I'll just pour them in here and I'll drink it. So yeah, love this water bottle. Not just because it's the color, but it's because it's glass and it's good for your body. So my second random favorite is pretty random because you guys really don't know a whole lot about me yet. Um, I haven't done an about me tag and I haven't done a Q&A or anything like that. But if you guys do want to see a Q&A, just leave me comments down below if you guys want me to film something and can ask me questions about my life. 
Not gonna lie. I'm not that entertaining. But for my last random favorite, it is Mario Kart 8. Oh my goodness. A little secret about me, I love games. I love to play games. I have played video games my whole entire life. I've been absolutely obsessed with them. I owned everything from N64, PlayStation. I mainly like Nintendo, to be honest. I tend to stick with Nintendo more than I go to PlayStation and Xbox. I'm not really a fan of those ones. I know, weird, right? But um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Me and my husband picked this up and he made me play till midnight. And that's huge talking about my husband because he's usually asleep by 9 o'clock. And if I try to make him sit down and play a video game with me, he usually doesn't want to play. And this one, he wouldn't let me go to bed. I was so tired this past weekend and I just wanted to go to sleep. And he's like, no, let's play again. Let's play one more round. One more round. We'll call, oh, let's just do one more round. It's like midnight. Babe, I just want to sleep. No. He made me play until after midnight. Midnight? After midnight. I think it was after midnight. So yeah, we played this for about four hours straight. Yeah. So for me, this is like a huge surprise to bring a favorite because I actually do not like racing games. My husband, that's all he likes because yeah, he's a race car driver. But for me, I don't like racing games. I've never really cared much for the Mario Karts except for the one on N64 because I love the battle one where me and my sister, we would seriously go around and play those little, um, we would go play the battles against each other and like I would own one block color and she would have the other block color and we would set booby traps everywhere and then we'd be like, okay, let's go. But So yeah, for all the other ones, I didn't really I didn't really care for it, even though I own them all. I don't know. But I didn't, I didn't really care for them. But this one, I love. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun with this one. It is such a great game, and I'm, and I'm actually already on the countdown of when Mario Party 10 comes out, which is March 20th, by the way. Yes, yes, I am so excited. I have been like going into games up, I'm like, when does it come out? When does it come out? March 20th, I found out, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm so, that's probably gonna be like in my March favorites, because I hope you all enjoyed my February favorites this month. I just want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and saying so many sweet things. It's ah, it just melts my heart. You guys are so sweet. And yeah, also if you guys like this video, then please thumbs up. So yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, then you can subscribe right down below at the little red button, or you could go to my left, your right, to the little icon up here, and click that, and you will instantly be subscribed. So that way you guys can get notified when I post new videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.